So, or I guess we lost a slide. I'll just address real quick. We talked about HVAC updates um, and I'm just gonna hit on it briefly because we've already spoken about it. Uh, oftentimes, uh, one thing that can be done and this requires the uh, HVAC specialty um, to, or consultants or environmental consultants to take a look and that's you can add higher grade like MERV 13 filters. They're not as good as HEPA filtration and they're not a complete solution, but that's one additional layer that you can, that you can do in addition to seeing if you can bring in outdoor air with your HVAC um, and just increasing the airflow. And I, but I should point out that like the MERV 13, they're more like 50 to 75% uh, compared filters compared to 99, oh, virtually 100%, 99.97% um, for HEPA. But again, we're talking about layers of protection. So uh, then it's important to men know that, uh, or mention that we are, there are some secondary benefits of this. We're spending a lot of time and effort to uh, capture the, um, you know, it, right now we're looking at the, we're at, we're at the tail end of uh, this, or we think, we hope we're the tail end of this pandemic. And so that's what we're so focused on. But there's a lot of secondary benefits, just indoor air quality, um, you know, disease avoidance as, as has already been addressed um, with, with other illnesses and bacteria and such, and then outdoor air pollution. And then a lot of these air cleaners, you can add uh, charcoal filters uh, in, in the unit as an option, and that can reduce uh, some odors, volatile or organic compounds, and other materials um, that are introduced in a variety of different ways. So overall, if you have staff in these uh, spaces, re adding these, uh, these steps does more than just reduce you know, viruses and bacteria uh, in the air. It, it creates a better work environment and a better environment for your patient. 